Hi, fifth graders. We are on week number 26 of remote learning. Um, we're going to be doing mod module 8, lesson 6, representing multiplication with unit fractions. So you'll be able to solve a problem by multiplying unit fractions using a visual model. So a chef uses one fourth of a package of dough. Before using this part of the package of dough, she cuts it into thirds. What fraction of a whole package is each of these smaller pieces? Draw a visual model to show the problem and justify how your visual model represents the problem. Okay, so the chef has this whole package, right? So we've got a whole package here. The chef uses only one fourth of the package. So if I take my package, Okay, I'm just drawing it just like I'm drawing it again. And we're going to break up the package into fourths. Now, the chef only uses one fourth of the package. So I'm just going to shade in how much the chef uses. So the chef uses one fourth of the package. Right? So does that, that make sense, right? This is our whole, our whole package of dough. Here's the one fourth that was used. Now the chef takes this fourth and cuts it into thirds. So again, here's our whole dough. And what we're trying to figure out is how much, if she cuts this, so here's our fourths, right, of our whole, but she's gonna cut this into thirds. So that means if I were to cut each one of these fourths into thirds, so that way I could figure out how much each little piece is worth. So here's the, again, right? Here's the part that was used that she cut into thirds, thirds of the fourths. So what are each of these pieces? Well, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are each worth one twelfth of the whole. So the so she started with a whole, cut her package into fourths because she used a fourth of the dough. Then out of that fourth of the dough, she cut it into thirds, right? She cut just the fourth into thirds. So the fraction of the whole package is each of the smaller pieces is one twelfth of the whole package or each of the smaller pieces. So I want you to see that as a picture, right? We started with a whole. She uses one fourth. So we broke, we took our whole and I, I broke it into fourths. Then I took those fourths and I broke the fourths into thirds, but they wanted to know what it was of the whole, right? It says what fraction of the whole package is each of these smaller pieces. So by taking the fourths and breaking each of the fourths into thirds, then I can see that I have twelfths. So this is like saying, right, that we're cutting each piece. So she's going to have three one twelfth sections right? Three, I don't know how to separate that. Three, one, actually I should just write this in numbers. Three, because it isn't three and one twelfths, right? It's not three holes and one twelfths, but she has three one twelfth fraction strips that she's using. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. So only one third of a chef's specialty pizza is left at closing time. The chef eats half of the leftover pizza. How much of the whole pizza does the chef eat? Now, I am not great with doing this kind of stuff with circles. So I'm not even going to attempt. I'm just going to use a bar model because circles are hard to break up into fairly equal pieces. Okay? So just bear with me, pretend this is the pizza. One third of the pizza is left, right? So we have this much 
of our pizza left, which is one third. Okay? The chef eats half of the one third. Okay? So here's our chef's pizza again. But the chef eats, oh, sorry. Okay, that's how much was left, but I need to know how much the chef ate. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have shaded that whole part. Well, actually, you know, here's what I'll do. I'll do the part that the chef eats darker. How about that? So the chef eats half of the one third. So I'm going to take all my thirds and break them up into half. So how much of the whole did the chef eat? So how many do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the chef ate one sixth of the whole piece of the whole pizza is how much the chef ate. Because again, the whole pizza was broken into thirds because a third of it was left, right? Then I'm going to take those thirds and I'm going to break the thirds up in half. So when I break the thirds up in half, I have sixths left. So the chef eats one sixth of the whole pizza. So essentially what we're doing is I'm taking my one third, I'm multiplying it by one half, one times one equals one, three times two equals six, so it would be one sixth. Okay? So let's see if we can apply that to the next one. The chef also makes a stromboli. One serving is half of the stromboli. What fraction of a meter is the length of one serving? Well, one serving is half. We're not going to use our number line. We're just going to do our equation. So our stromboli, we're going to cut in half, but half, but the whole stromboli is one fourth meter. So we're going to multiply one half times one fourth because it's one half of the stromboli times one fourth and that's going to equal one eighth meter is one serving, okay? Because one serving is basically half of the fourth, right? So one half times one fourth equals one eighth because one times one is one, two times four is eight. Okay? So if we're not going to worry about using the number line, we're just going to do our multiplication. The chef makes a rectangular pizza. At closing time, one sixth of the pizza is left. The chef eats one half of the leftover pizza. Don't worry about the visual model because now we know how to do the equation, right? So one sixth times one half equals one twelfth. So one twelfth of the pizza is left. Okay? So we're just taking our two fractions and we are multiplying them together. So we're not going to worry about the number line. One fifth times one half equals one tenth. Okay? So don't worry about the pictures. We just can do, we know we can do the math, right? We know we can multiply. Number three. A costume designer cuts the section of ribbon shown into fourths. What fraction of a foot is each piece of ribbon? So if she's cutting it into fourths and then each piece is one fourth, so one fourth times one fourth equals one sixteenth foot. Jackson runs half a mile on Monday. On Tuesday, he runs half the distance he ran on Monday. 
what fraction of the mile does Jackson run on Tuesday? So if he runs one half on Monday and he runs half of that on Tuesday, then he runs one fourth of a mile on Tuesday. So you're just multiplying again one half times one half. And then here, don't draw, you don't have to draw your visual model. One third times one fifth equals one fifteenth. So you multiply your top numbers, your bottom numbers. All right. So for your independent work, don't worry again about drawing the models. Just do the fraction. So um, when you get to number one, you can skip those first two bulleted points and just find the fraction of the supersized drink and the mini sized drink. So you're just multiplying. Okay. Just don't worry about the number line. Don't worry about drawing a picture unless you need it. If you need it to help you answer, that's fine. But you can just multiply. If you just multiply, that's what's going to give you your answer. Okay. And when you're finished, please turn it into me at school. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye.